Hello, and welcome to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is January the 15th, and we're going to be sowing some Gumfrina seeds today. We're going to be sowing two different varieties, the Gumfrina QIS mix, which is an open pollinated mix. Uh, I grew this one last year. This is one of the flowers, whoops, sorry about that, that I actually dried from it. It's a beautiful purple color, and it held its color very nicely for us. Um, I do have a uh, video on how to collect seeds from it because it is an open pollinated variety. And we're also going to be sowing the strawberry fields mix. Now this is going to be a new one for me here. Uh, I never grew this, the strawberry fields one before. So we're going to see what it looks like. So when we come back, I'm going to show you how I mix my seed starting mix. And then we're going to plant the seeds. Okay, so the seed starting mix that I'm using here is the Jiffy natural and organic seed starting mix and my water here is nice and hot and I'm going to start mixing this together now I don't want my seed starting mix to be soupy because that's bad I want it to have a nice consistency to it and if I get too much water in it I can always add more soil and if I get too much soil I add more water so this is there we go this is how I mix my mix up here uh, I know some people they soak they actually pack like their six cells they'll take one of these and they'll pack it with the dry soil and then they'll soak it I've never really had any luck with that. I mean, I've left mine soak overnight already, and it still wouldn't take the water up. So this is how I mix mine. And then I just take, and hold on a minute here. Let me grab one of my packs. This is actually a fourth pack here. And I just stuff it in then. And another thing that I do is if it's a little, if it still seems like a little dry, after I'm done uh, packing this in for the soil, I'll take a container and fill it up with the same warm water and I'll sit it in and I'll let it soak it up like that. Now that does seem to work. It will moisten it that way. I just don't have any luck taking it dry and trying to get it to soak up the soil. I don't know why. I've never been able to figure that one out, and I have tried many times. So this is what works for me, and I'm going to finish filling the rest of our packs, and then um, I'm going to plant our seeds in it. So we'll be right back. Oops. Okay, so we're back, and I have my cell packs filled with our seed starting mix. You do not want to use regular garden soil and you do not want to use um, like miracle Grow potting mix or some kind of potting mix indoors um, for starting your seeds. It just the seed starting mix is so much nicer and so much better and you're going to get a lot better results than if you try the other stuff. The other mixes um, like your miracle Grow potting mix or uh, Stay Green potting mix or whatever you choose brand you use can have uh, fungals in it. It can have diseases in it. So you really don't want to use that for your seedlings. So we're just going to use the seed starting mix. Now this is what a Gumfrina seed looks like. And if you harvested your own seeds, they are going to look, hold on a moment, let me grab one out here for you. Uh, okay, I got one right here. They're going to look like this. They're going to still have the fuzzy coating on them if you harvest them yourself. This is our seed right here. You can actually feel it in there. I harvested these from the QIS mix. 
that I grew. And um, I will leave a link below for how to harvest your own gumfrina seeds. So if you sow an open pollinated variety or an heirloom variety of gumfrina and you want to save the seeds from it, you can. Now if you grow more than one variety, they do have the potential to cross. So it's hard to say what you'll get, but you might get something really pretty. It's hard to say. So we're going to plant our seeds here and whoopsies I try and keep them in the center if I can doesn't always work but I try and the nice thing about these is they're at least large enough that you can move them. And we're going to thinly cover them. They need to be about like a fourth inch deep. So I'm just pressing them down in with the back of my nail some. And I'm just going to gently put a covering over them because they don't need to be down too deep. And we don't want to put them down too deep because then they won't come up for us. Uh, there we go. And I already did that one there. So in about 10 to 14 days, these should start coming up for us. And they should start blooming in about 80 to 85 days, I believe it is. Now that can vary depending on varieties. So I'm gonna finish planting up our Gumfrina seeds here. And then I'm gonna put them under our lights and I will come back and show you what that looks like, okay? We'll be back. Okay, uh, something that I forgot to mention, sorry about that, is you always want to make sure that you label your seedlings so you know what's what and who's who. So what I do is I write on my tags with pencil and then I can just erase it off and I can reuse them next year. So I just wanted to throw that in on there because I don't... Um, it doesn't work trying to remember what you put in which container. Okay, uh, another thing I wanted to add real quick is my seeds were um, pre-chilled. I had them in the refrigerator in a Ziploc bag before I planted them. Um, so I just wanted to add that for you there. Okay. So we're back and we got all of our Gumfrina seeds planted and we have some more over here and we put them in this enclosed grow box and normally you want like bottom heat to germinate your stuff on but what we're actually going to do is we let the light, it's a fluorescent light, it's on for 14 hours a day. I use the daylight or sunshine bulbs and we let that produce the heat for us. This whole box gets enclosed in and that's how we germinate our seeds. So if you like my video please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. And please don't forget to hit that little notification button That'll tell you when I post a new video on. And thank yous for watching. And I hope yous have a nice day. Bye.